Hey, my brothers and sisters, this is your YouTube pastor and activist slash watchdog advocate for justice, Reverend Louis C. Nash Sr. here in Philadelphia. You can contact me at 215-518-4667 or email me at Lewis, L-E-W-I-S, Carry C-A-R-R-Y, Sr. at Yahoo.com. My brothers and sisters out there, I am here to inform you of three things. Starting off with Risa Vera Furman, who you just watched on the video, how so many people advocate for her to be our district, uh, our, uh, district attorney of Montgomery Township, who would uphold the law, who was voted in to serve the people by the people and for the people. She's no justice at all, my brothers and sisters. All you have to do is look up Joseph McNair, killed by the Scepter Cop in Perkyoman Township in 2008, September the 17th. He's never been brought to justice. Even though it is a voicemail CD out there advocating that he was not under duress or stress but he was a very hostile, threatening individual who took advantage of a highway night hour to kill Joseph McNair. He seized the moment. He must have gotten the okay from the district attorney's office because he is not in jail. Ladies and gentlemen, look at NBCPhiladelphia.com. Look at CBS3.com. And look at WURD 900, Wake Up With Bill Anderson in the Morning, and look at the McNair family. You're going to find out that Daryl Simmons' statement in September 2008, uh, the 17th, when he killed Joseph McNair, his neighbor. You're going to find out that Kevin Rasnick also escaped due process of law. He killed Joseph McNair dog in January. Him and Daryl Simmons distributed his record in April, and then Dow Simmons kills Joseph in September. Oh, I forgot. The Pennsylvania law says that any man commit a crime with a gun has an automatic five years in jail. Risa Furman said she would uphold the law and the Constitution. She did not follow the evidence. She found the evidence and did not prosecute according to the evidence and the rule of law and justice. I say Risa Furman said that you want someone in the office that would uphold the law when they get a 2 a.m. in the morning call. You want a professional on the call. Risa Furman, the professional. What happened to due process of law? Daryl Simmons killed Joseph September the 17th, 2008. Why isn't he in jail? Why haven't he been processed? Why haven't he even been charged? And you have the voicemail, you have the evidence, you have the gun, you found out Joseph was in the car when he was killed. Ladies and gentlemen, if she is an advocate for justice like I am, then you guys are in trouble. We all are in trouble. Though she seemed to be a family woman, Asta, she's making a mission kids house. She raised $180,000 for the victims of abuse, children, so they could testify. Joseph, five children will never see him again. Where is their justice, Risa Furman? Joseph, children will never see their father again. Where is the due process of law of the father's killer, Risa Furman? Joseph, five children. You did not even empathize with them, but you empathized with his killer, who also was found out that his statement was collaborated, it was bogus. It was a lie because the voicemail CD that you had three or four days later before his family even found out, because I contact you, Risa Furman, and you're still trying to tell us eight months later that you don't know whether it was a wiretap. Now, how was that due process? You would lie to his family and then lean back in February the 18th when you had a meeting with them and told them, I hope you respect my judgment. And you haven't even arrested Daryl Simmons. And now it's April and you still didn't arrest Daryl Simmons. How do his children feel? You came to their hometown, raised $180,000. You ought to be ashamed of yourself.
for not giving Joseph McNair due process of the law. You violated his First Amendment, his Fourth Amendment, his Thirteenth Amendment, his Fourteenth Amendment, his Fifteenth Amendment, and you continue to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, call her up. Call the state attorney, Tom Corbett, and call the U.S. attorney, Eric Holder, and request a grand jury and have Risa Furman removed from office because she violated the oath of office. She should be removed and never vote an individual in like her again. Thank you. God bless you. This is your YouTube pastor and slash activist watchdog giving you the truth straight up.